The Cotomus key uses visible features in order to classify organisms. It is which gives you a choice of two features and you follow the one that applies. Each choice leads you to another choice until the organism is narrowed down to its genus and finally the species. This is the general introduction about the dichotomous key. If we proceed in further, we will find out that the dichotomous key is a series of questions. It is used to figure out what an unknown organism is. You work your way down the questions and narrow, you, and narrow down your options as you go on. You keep on answering the questions and eventually you will be narrowed down to just one possible species the organism could be. It may be in this shape, which is considered a tool that allows the users to demonstrate the identity of a certain item, like for example, a tree, a flower, or even an animal or a simple object. A dichotomous means divided into two parts. Therefore, the dichotomous key allows give two choices in each step. For example, here we can start here by the feather, whether it's present or not. If yes, so we will go to the second choice, swims or not. If yes, it may be a duck. If no, it may be a hen. So, if we back again to the feathers, if there is no feathers, so we will look for the second question, whether it has legs or no. If it has a legs and feathers, okay, I'm sorry, there is no feathers, so then we'll go to the second question, the presence of legs. If yes, so this is the lizard. If no, this is the snake. This is one of the structures that maybe the dichotomous key come to you. Also, another example of the dichotomous key. For example, here we have A, B, C organisms, and you need to identify them using this dichotomous key. We have one A asking you a question, tentacles present. You have to answer this question, yes or no. Let's say we would like to identify the organism number A. Tentacles present? Yes, they are. So go to 2. Then we will jump to 2A. We will not go to 1B, okay, because here it's mentioned tentacles absent, while in the organism A, the tentacles are present. So 2A, A tentacles. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, it is octopus. And by the way, octa, as we, as we talked before, means 8. And boda means legs. So it is octopus. It has 8 legs. So we now identify the organism number A, which is the octopus. So we will omit this and proceed to the... Yes, we will proceed to the... To B. We have more than eight tentacles. So let's go for identification of the organism number B. We can even start from the beginning. Okay. For example, a tentacle present. Yes. Go to two. Yes. 2A was being already found, which is the octopus. So 2B, more than eight tentacles. Yes. We cannot count them because there are so many. So we will go to three. 3A, tentacles hang down. No, they are not hanging down. Tentacles upright. Yes, tentacles here are upright. So it is a sea anemone. So we discovered the identity of the organism number B. If we back again to the uh, first choice, tentacles hang down. Let's see the organism number C. Yes, there are tentacles. We can even back again, tentacles present, yes, go to two, eight, they are not eight, they are more than eight, you can count them because there are so many, okay, so back again, uh, more than eight tentacles, go to three, then three A, tentacles hang down, yes, go to four, then four A, balloon shaped body, yes, its body has a balloon shape, so we identify the identity of organism number C, which is the jellyfish. By this way, by 
uh, answering every single question and be directed to the next level of question we are uh, when we are going down we look for the specificity or the specific features that allow the organism to be identified clearly so there's another example of the lycodomus case here for example he is saying in the question number one with flower if yes it will be an angiosperm without flower then it will go to two for example if it's a, if it's with flower okay it's directly an angiosperm so we will identify it if not we will go to question number two so question number two it is seedless or seed bearing if it's seedless we will go to three so we will jump to three and continue answering the questions if not if the seed bearing if it's not seedless which means it has a seed so it is a gymnosperm okay so we did identify it so and so on we are going down then we are founding out the features or the organisms there's another example but it's, it will be much more clear when we are answering uh, real questions also the uh, an example of a, a key okay for example for a worm a pea and a gorilla here it's starting from the uh, question says does the organism have like we have two answers yes or no if yes only the gorilla has legs among those three examples if no we will go for another level of question does it have yellow and black stripes yes or no if yes of course it is the b if no it's the worm and this is another way by which we can find out the uh, the keys also the dichotomous key can be also expressed in a diagram form such like the spider if you remember last year in checkpoint science 3 chapter number 6 classification and variation together we studied that we have two ways or two examples of keys we have numbered key the one that was before the questions and we have the spider key this is the structure of the spider key so it may be like this for example plants with or without flower if it with flower so the flowering plants or angiosperms or it is without flower so it is non-flowering plants the non-flowering plants may be seedless or seeded if it's seeded it will be gymnosperm if it's seedless it may be yes a plant body not differentiated into root stem and leaves or the plant body differentiated into stem roots and leaves and so on okay along with we are finding out the uh, organisms while we are going down answering the questions in the key whatever it's a spider key or a numbered key uh, booklet number one okay the characteristics of the uh, and classification this is the chapter name okay and you will find here question number one yes so let's go ahead answering the first question okay question number one says okay. show a uh, figure Question number one, point number A, figure 1.1 shows five species of a mollusk, A, B, C, and D, and, uh, and E as well. Use the key to identify each species, write the letter of each species, A to E, in the correct box beside the key. So, uh, one A, the first question is, body is completely or partially covered in a shell so let's for example identify the organism uh, a so let's go ahead it's a body is partially or totally covered in a shell yes it is so this is a shell here this is a shell so uh, now we will go for what is the direction go to two let's go to two 
2a shell is attached to rock by thin threads okay thin shell is attached to rock by thin threads let's go and see are there threads that are attached to the body yes if you are looking here those are threads that are attaching the shell to the rock so now we identify this organism which is it's a so we will write the letter here and we identified the first organism so we will omit this we we find it out i'm sorry we will omit this one in order not to uh confused and again where we was we are we found out the first organism let's go for the second one we did this uh, this questions last year by the way we practiced those questions now i would like to identify the organism number b firstly 1a body is completely or partially covered in a shell it is covered with a shell so what is an instruction go to two yes go to two two a done we're done with it so we have to go to b shell is not attached to rocks by thin threads back again yes there is no threads attaching the body to the rocks so it is to b what are the, what are the instructions go to three then let's go to three three a shell is a spire that comes to a point it is a spire that comes to a point let's look here okay yeah if you are looking here it is a spire that eventually end up in a point here so we found out this organism so this organism is b what is the name of it yes this is b and we found out this organism this is uh buchanan uh and datum so we found out even 3a and we found out 2a so let's go and identify the uh, organism number c or the mollusk number c so again 1a body is completely or partially covered in a shell yes there is a shell so go to 2 2a is already done so 2b shell is not attached to rocks by thin threads let's figure it out yes there are no th no threads so go to 3 now 3a is already done so 3b shell is not a spire that comes to a point yes it is coiled it is not a spire that comes to a point what is the instruction go to four then let's go to four for a animal has tentacles animal has tentacles let's figure it out are there tentacles no there are no tentacles so what shall it what shall it be it should be okay it has tentacles no animals has two tentacles only two tentacles has tentacles means so many so animal has tentacles more than two so here we have only those two tentacles so the organism is c okay planorpus and we will omit this out because we found it so let's back also while you are solving it's better yes we did found this we found this we found this so now we are looking for the mollusk number d and again the body is completely partially covered in a shell yes it is so go to 2 2a done we discovered this we found it out so 2d shell is not attached to a rocks by thin tentacles yes it's not been attached to a rocks so go to 3 3a is already done so 3b shell is not a spire that comes to a point yes it is not 
So instructions go to four. Then for a animal has tentacles. Animal has tentacles. If you are looking here, of course, they are more than two. So this is the organism number D. And it is the Denodulus. Yes. So now we will omit this not to have any confusion. And eventually, even if you are following the key or even without, so you will find out this. But I would like you to go through the key in order to double check because maybe you mix it up previous answer. So it is good technique not to uh, not to lose any mark. So let's take E. OK, body is completely or partially covered in a shell. No, there is no shell at all. So it is not 1A. So 1B, body is not completely covered or partially covered in a shell. Yes, it is not covered with any with any shell. So it is Lamex with a type of slug. So this is a organism number E. By this way, OK, by this way, you have to be precise while you are reading in the exam. OK, in the exact place so it is here e by this way you are answering all the question properly and now you are practicing the dichotomous key okay so this is the first question if you are proceeding question uh, number one we're still in the question number one point number b it says state two features that are shown by all mollusks Yes, we just finished the illustration of mollusk in the class, so you can mention a lot of things. OK, he didn't say visible. That's why if you say visible, you have to be uh, limited to the organism that uh, is found in your question. But this is just open question that you can uh, mention any, but have to be limited to the mollusks. We discussed and illustrated that uh, all of the mollusks are they have Ah, they have soft body. They have soft body. OK. OK, I'm sorry. It has soft body. You can say soft body and it will be correct answer. OK. Also, you may say they are not segmented, not segmented body. OK, not segmented body. And now you mentioned two points and you are huh, qualified for taking the two marks. But you can add because we discussed a lot of things in the class. You can say, for example, this is number one, number two. I can add, for example, number three. And I can say they has mantle. They has mantle and will be considered a correct answer. You can also say they have a muscular food. We did mention this and we discussed it even. They have a muscular, muscular, okay, food. Okay, not only this, but also you can add another, for example, you may, you may say they have, huh, why they are known as mollusks? That's a very good point because they have a, a slimy body. They have slimy body. OK. Or you can say they are producing mucus. Producing mucus. OK, that's why they are known as mollusks. OK, so the question needs you to point out two features and we did. OK, we pointed out five. And by the way, they still still we still have more than five points. But regularly, if it's out of two, try to add one or two points in order to be in the safe side. OK, as long as what you are uh, writing is a correct, uh, proper and related to the question stem answer. OK, your answer have to be related to the question stem. So now we did finish the first question. Uh, we can proceed for uh, question number two. 
Question number two, figure 1.1 shows seven different species of amphibians. We have A, okay, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Okay, A, use the key to identify each species. Write the letter of each species, A to G, in the correct box beside the key. One has been done for you. Mostly they are doing the first one for you. Okay, here it's mentioned 1A, long, narrow body, long, narrow body, with or without legs with or without legs so i prefer to go for uh, one by one that's much easier and well organized and uh, you can go uh, your own way but this is a good and time um, not it's not time consuming okay time saving so uh, the first one okay organism number a or the amphibian number a let's go throw the key one a long narrow body with or without leg. Actually, if you are looking here, it has it has legs. So it is not 1A. So let's go for 1B. 1B says body not long and narrow. Yes, the body there, it's not long and narrow. If I look in here, the body is not long and it's not narrow. So it is 1B. Let's go for the instructions. Back legs are larger than the front legs. Even if you are looking here in this example, it's very obvious. It is maculated toad. Okay, the back or the fore limb. I'm sorry, the hind limb is larger than the fore limb or the front limb. It is very obvious. So what is the instruction? The instruction go to five. So let's go to five. Five saying skin is smooth. Okay, skin is smooth. Okay, let's back again. The skin is smooth or it's not smooth. Yes, it is. It is not smooth. The skin has, okay, those words that make it not that smooth. So let's back again. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, it is. The skin, the skin is smooth. Yeah, the, it is smooth. Why? Because I mix it up between it and this one. This is not smooth skin. This smooth and that type is already, is also smooth. So if we back again, the body is smooth. Yes, then go to, go to six. So six A, digest. Uh, digits end in uh, swellings. Let's back to the uh, digits. Okay. So the digits here, yeah, they are ending in, yeah, normal, but they, they don't have any swelling at the end. Because if you are looking here at E, okay, it has the same features and the ends or the digits are ending with a swelling so this is f and we are now answering a so 6a says digits end in a swelling no it is not so go to b digits do not end in a round swelling yes here number a the in the the digits are not ending in a rounded okay swelling so a is 6b which is rana temporia to uh, temporaria this is number a so as you look here of course we have to cross this not to confuse later and we found out this if you would like to write the name of it it is good if not it's okay okay this is rana okay this is rana temporaria This is Rana Temporaria. So we found it out. Okay. This is the first one in the key. Okay. And it is the last one. Okay. It's the first one in, sorry, in the, uh, in the figures. Okay. With the first letter. But here, it is the last organism that we discovered. Okay. If we even proceed, let's go for 
uh, number B. Okay, this is the mollusk number. I'm sorry, the amphibian number B. It looks like a worm, but it is not. It is not a worm. It is not a worm. This is a um, one of the uh, members of amphibian that under the uh, Sicilians. Sicilians, we didn't take it in the uh, curriculum in details, but it is known as uh, a, a category that is known as Sicilians. Okay, it looks like a worm, but it is an amphibian. It's not a worm. So, uh, one A. Long, narrow body with or without legs. Yes, it is long and narrow and do not have any kind of legs. Okay, this sort, by the way, is known as the legless okay, amphibians and it's the only legless amphibians, the Sicilians, the group that this member belongs to. So it is 1A. So what is an instruction in 1A? An instruction is go to 2. So let's go to two. Two A body without legs. Yes, but yeah, it's already done. I didn't notice. Yes, body already done. Yes, the first one is being uh, done. B is done. So let's back for. You have to focus and to uh, to take this in consideration while answering questions, not to waste a lot of time. So let's go for C here. C is saying, uh, or primarily, long narrow body with or without legs. Uh, actually, uh, it is not. Okay, so we are not taking one A. So let's go ahead. Let's back again. Long narrow body. Yeah, it is long, and it is narrow. Yes. So instructions go to two. Let's go to two. Two A body with without legs. No, we're done with it. We have to omit it. Two B body with legs, which are all of the same size. Body with the legs. Yes, body with the legs, and all of them are with the same size. So what is the instruction? An instruction go to three. Let's go to three. Three A. Raised crest along the back of the body. Raised crest along the back of the body. Yes, there is a crest. There is a crest. Yeah, this is the crest. This is known as crest. You know the crest that is found in the chicken? Yes, this is known as crest. Okay, so this is the Treaturous. Yes, this is the treaturous. Yes, this is C. And we will omit this and we will back again to the organism number. Uh, okay, we found out this. Okay, and B is already done. A is done. Let's go for D. Yes, here. Long narrow body. With or without legs, yes, it is long and narrow. Go to two. Then two A done. Let's two B. Body with legs, which are all of the same size. Let's look at their legs. Yes, it had legs, and all of them are with the same size. So what is the instruction? An instruction says go uh, go to three. Yes, three. Three A done. No need to look at it uh, even. So three B. No crest along the back of the body. Let's see the back of the body. Yes, this is the dorsal side or the back of the body. And there are no crests there. There are no crests. This is known as crest. But here there is no. That's good. So this is the yes. No crest. We have to go to even farther. We have to go for uh, to go to four. Yes, four A gills present. Let's have a look. Yes, there are gills here. Those are gills. Those are gills. Okay. So, if gill present, so it is this organism. Okay. 
vectors. So this organism number D, and we will omit it not to confuse. Okay, now let's back to the, uh, we found out A, B, and A, B, C, and D. So let's go for E, yes. Okay, it says here, long narrow body with or without leg. Mm, okay, no. Body not long and narrow. Okay, back legs are longer than the front legs. If we all look here, yes. And the back leg is longer than the front. So what is that instruction? Go to five. So if you go to five, it's mentioned. One A, skin is smooth. Let's have a look again. And as we see here, the skin is not smooth. The skin is wrinkled. It's not smooth. OK, so what is the instruction here? OK, it's 5B, skin is not smooth, so it is directly, it is directly the, yeah, that's correct. OK, so it is, uh, what is the name of, what is the number of this? It is E, it is E, A, B, C, D, it is E. Yes, this is, uh, sorry, this is A. Okay, okay. Now we discover the organism or the amphibian number E. Then we can go for the organism or the amphibian number F. So back again to the key. Question number or, uh, number 1A, long narrow body with or without legs. No, it is not. Okay, body is not long and narrow. And back legs are larger than the front legs. Yes, very long in comparison to the front leg. And the body is not long. So go to 5. Five. 5A, five skin is smooth. Yes, the skin here is smooth. Same as A. So go to 6. Six. 6A, six digits end in swellings. Yes, it is end with the swelling. So this is, yeah, this is number... Yeah, this is number F that we are looking for. If you are looking here, the uh, legs are ending with a rounded, okay, swelling here. So we even discover this. Okay, eventually the remaining is G. So if you are proceeding probably in the previous one, so you are sure that the last one is G. If not, you can uh, do it. Let's do it because we are learning. So here, G says that, let's see, uh, long narrow body with or without leg. Yes, the body is long, yes, so go to two. So, body without legs, no, it was, uh, it's, it's with, so it be. Body with legs which are all with the same size, yes, legs are with the same size. So the instruction says, go to three, yes. 3A, we discovered this, we already found. So 3B, no crest along the back of the body. No crest, let's see. Yes, this is the back, and the back has no crest. So what is the instruction? Crest, uh, no crest, we go to 4, yes. So 4A, we already found it, no need even to have a look at it. B, no gills present, and if you are looking here, there are no gills present. So it is G. Yes. No gills present. Yes. No gills there. So this is the last organism in the amphibian that are there. And this is number G. It is the ambistoma. Okay. Tigrinium. This is the last organism in this uh, key. And now we found out all of the members of the amphibian and we relate every uh, one okay to its proper name according to the features that are found in this key okay so this is a um, practice question that are uh, or that is uh, basically for the uh, numbered key okay this is yeah this is numbered key question number three i'll uh, keep it as a homework so you can do it and next time we will discuss it together. 
see you have a good day wish you all the best